So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and uh, today I'd like uh, to discuss with you a very interesting comment that I recently received uh, yeah, in one of my YouTube channels and uh, it's about uh, the attitude uh, that you should have or could have rather um, towards microscopes and I would like to read out the comments first. It's actually not a question but actually uh, the response to a question by another viewer of my YouTube channel and it, uh, it's about the following. It's about the concern that uh, maybe children might break uh, a microscope. Okay so the question is as follows. Aren't stereo microscopes more robust as well? I can't imagine letting my, a child touch an actual microscope of mine. Okay, so this uh, uh, person was kind of worried that the, a child might actually break uh, a microscope and the response is quite interesting here. Nope, uh, it's about the same. So stereo microscopes are about the same um, compared to compound microscopes except crashing the high power objective and breaking the slide should not happen with a stereo microscope. Of course, because the distance between the objective and the specimen is too large. But the next sentence is really uh, the interesting one here. I would say get a $300 made in China quality microscope, which is not a toy, and then don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Think of it as an iPad. They might break it, but whatever. With potential reward comes some risk. Well, thank you very much for this uh, comment. And I think it really touched a very important point and uh, something that I've been thinking about myself, but never really mentioned that clearly. Microscopes are tools, just like iPads. And uh, they're there to be used and use them. And when they break, well, then they break. Okay, that's it. Um, we um, have essentially microscopes here to explore our environment, to explore nature, to have a little bit of fun, um, to enrich our lives and uh, therefore they are tools. And uh, if you read now um, some of the microscopy web forums or the comments, um, even some emails I get, there seem to be two different types of philosophies uh, um, in the microscopy community. And one philosophy is as well, uh, get yourself a microscope that's going to last forever. Um, yeah, microscopes, uh, they can last a lifetime if you take care of them, and especially if you invest a little bit more at the beginning, um, then you will get a microscope that can be maintained. So there are service companies that fix it and maintain it. Um, you get spare parts. Yeah and it costs more because of that. And some people who really are proponents of this uh, view are basically saying, well, sometimes it might be better to get a, a used microscope from the 1980s or 1990s, a quality used microscope, get it refurbished, get it maintained, and then you'll have a microscope for another 50 years. Yeah, because yeah, they basically don't age. And then there is the second view that actually says, well, actually, yeah, who cares? Um, spend your 300, 400 dollars, 300, 400 euros um, on a new microscope. They might not be perfect in quality or comparable in quality to the good brand microscopes, but whatever, uh, they're good enough and uh, just use them. And if you're not happy, get yourself a new one. After all, after every two or three years, we also exchange our iPads, our mobile phones um, and um, yeah, they're also used as tools and they become obsolete. And I have to tell you that, um, yeah, even a 300 or 400 dollar or euro microscope is certainly, if you take care of it, certainly going to last much, much longer <laughs> than, let's say, yeah, a tablet computer or an iPad or a mobile phone because they do not become obsolete as quickly. Yeah, so that's an important uh, um, point here. So my suggestion here is, is, is um, yeah, also use whatever microscope you have um, and uh, enjoy uh, microscopy as a hobby, enjoy the environment, nature. And when you feel that it's time to upgrade or to change microscope, well, then just do that. After all, yeah, those microscopes, uh, decent microscopes can already be purchased, purchased for the fraction of a cost of a new mobile phone um, or a new iPad or other tablet uh, computer. So this is simply um, an interesting uh, comment uh, that I received and um, it also kind of plays in a little bit with uh, the suggestion that I've also made already before is um, sometimes people cannot decide uh, which microscope should I buy and uh, is this a good investment and I say usually say well just pick any don't in, don't spend too much at the beginning um, get yourself a fairly cheap one one that does not burn a hole into your wallet um, and then after a couple of years, if you feel that you outgrow the microscope, you can always get yourself a new one. I know that this type of, I don't know, not everyone might agree with this type of mentality that you kind of buy stuff and then kind of throw it away. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, that's uh, indeed something that we can discuss a little bit, whether this is a good, the right attitude. But I have to tell you that uh, those $300 or $400 microscopes that you buy, 
Um, if there is a problem with those, unlikely that there is, but if there is a problem with those, um, it's not worth maintaining them. Yeah, And I just have to say that uh, I'm a teacher in school and we've, uh, rec not recently, maybe 10 years ago, bought um, a whole range of very low cost, um, no name <laughs> microscopes. And indeed, they, um, yeah, with uh, time, they started to wear down. Uh, students do not use them properly. Um, they break. You know, actually, they, some of them really broke uh, because people bump into them. And then there is no point in fixing them because uh, simply fixing them costs more than actually buying a new one. Okay. Um, yeah. So this kind of um, consumerism or kind of wasteful approach uh, to microscopes is certainly not something that everyone would agree with. But yeah, I'm just... Uh, just presenting to you what I've experienced, okay? But at the same time, I um, do understand that we should not focus on the hardware too much alone, but more on the observation, yeah, and uh, more on the, um, yeah, on the things that you can do with a microscope. Um, that's also a, another approach. And yeah, if it's time to get a new microscope, get a, get a new microscope. If it's broken, try to fix it especially if you crash the objective into the slide. Kids like to do this sometimes, especially if they're beginners. This was also one of the worries um, in in the comment here. Get yourself a new objective, okay? Um, they don't cost so much. Um, and uh, yeah, keep it maintained yourself, okay? Yeah, interesting comment. Uh, thank you for the comment again. Um, I would like to hear what you have to say. Uh, which, yeah, which team do you belong on? Do you feel it's important uh, to buy a brand microscope that lasts a long time, um, or are you more on the of the idea that uh, yeah, just get yourself a, a cheap one, and then if it's time to uh, exchange it, then you exchange it. What's your view? Leave your comments uh, below. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always, and of course, see you around next time. Bye bye.